What's up guys, Bloodshed here, bringing you another first impressions video today. This is Warhammer Chaos Bane in beta. These are beta impressions. If you're not familiar, this is an isometric ARPG, kill monsters, get loot, and you have a lot of ways to customize your builds to further progress your character. This is single player and co-op up to four players. It's set in the Warhammer universe and it's gonna retail for $50 on PC and $60 on consoles, PS4 and Xbox. No word on a Switch release. If you guys know, make sure to let me know in the comments below. I couldn't find any information on that. One thing you'll notice right away is the beautiful Warhammer art style. What's well, beautiful, badass, really edgy, lots of skulls, and it just, I played the online game. I played a lot of Warhammer games in the past, and we'll notice it right away is it's pretty punctual. Like it hits you in the mouth, like this is a Warhammer game. A lot of culture and stuff. I like it. I think it's cool. On launch, they plan to have four specific classes with all unique and interesting gameplay and styles and things like that. I noticed right away like the items you get are really flavorful. Like you get helms with the Imperial Soldier and the Mage has completely different things. So there's the Imperial Soldier, the Mage, the Slayer, which is not playable in beta, a Wood Elf Scout, which is also not playable in beta currently. You get the range class, you get the 200 Berserker, you get your Mage and you get your tank. So lots of good archetypes. As you can see, there's like a empty space on the bottom. It looks like there's room for more classes. Um, a lot of people think we're gonna get the Witch Hunter as soon as possible, so that would be awesome. But let's talk about the customization. I would say it's pretty solid overall. It's not to the depth of Grim Dawn or even Diablo 3, but there's a lot here to kind of make your own build and get excited, you know? They might add legendaries in the future, but there's no actual legendaries as of yet on the beta. Now the game launches in a few months, so we'll see what happens but you have different gear with different stuff. There's like gold find, reduced resource costs, counter attack damage. Counter attack damage is like thorns damage, right? Reflect type damage. Um, better loot quality, so you get magic find, armor, speed bonus. There's some stuff here to really kind of custom make your own build. So it's kind of cool. One thing you'll notice, it's like the Diablo on console. It's a radio wheel. It's really easy to kind of see what's better and what's not better. So if you're playing with friends who've never played before, I have a lot of game nights with my buddies and we usually play card games that aren't too complex. That way people can pick it up right away and play. And that's kind of way I think of Warhammer is you can just pick this up and start kicking butt right away. So you can see this is your gear right here. And then you go to your skills and these are all your skills. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six skills and three passives. These top three are the passives over here 14 different passives and the same thing with the skills 15 different skills some of them are tied to the talent tree i'll show you that in just a second each skill has three different tiers so it's not terribly crazy but at least there's some customization there and you would think it just goes up by damage but actually it adds things like energy costs and slowing effects so it's a little more interesting than just damage increases which I was pretty shocked about. Normally they just kind of add flat damage increases to the skills. Every class also has a custom ability. So the Imperial Soldier has a counter attack ability. You can see it right here. It's this custom ability. It adds more flavor to the class. There's two types of currency in the game. You have your gold crowns up here and then you have like your jewels right here. And this is like also to upgrade your talent tree, which is right here. It looks like a PoE tree or some a Grim Dawn constellation type tree. And it is, it's, it's more intimidating than it looks. It's a smaller version of like a Grim Dawn system, for instance, but it's interesting and it's fun to build your character and give you more customization. There's about four different main paths if you kind of strip away all of the stuff. And you know what I mean? If you kind of just really look, there's about four main paths to take and again, it's not terribly in depth, it's pretty straightforward, and it still gives you enough customization. Again, this is like my kind of party game for my buddies. I'm like, grab a controller, let's kick some butt. So you basically use gold sometimes to upgrade your skills and abilities, and you also use like these gems to upgrade your skills and abilities. Now when you die in the game, if you wanna revive, you have to pay gold or you have to play gems from what I can tell. So it's kind of punishing because these are the things that you use to power up your character, you have to pay to get revived. So it's kind of like a pseudo hardcore mode, but you kind of cost your own progression. So it is a little impactful when you die. Like I never want to die in any video game, but it does make me think a little bit more before I do things. They are planning some end game stuff. Like the game's designed to be 
beat over and over on higher difficulties like classic ARPGs. They're also adding like challenge modes like online competitive boss rush mode and things like that. And they want to continue and update the game throughout the lifespan of Warhammer KS Bane. Like they want to keep adding to it. So who knows what they'll add in the future. So I got to spend time in beta, not only on PC, but also on console. And I got to say the console version runs a lot smoother. I would consider everything to be really solid and snappy. Look how fast that was. It's really good to me. There's like a different abilities. I feel impactful. It feels pretty good, I would say, on console. The thing is on PC, there's a little access delay or there's some something is off with the, the transition from console to PC. When you play on PC, it has like the detections a little wonky. It doesn't feel this is your stash space, by the way. You have a shared stash between your characters. It just doesn't feel right now. It is still beta in the office. They could be on a different beta patch. The game doesn't launch for two months. It does. Uh, they do have time to kind of fix things. But as of right now, I would not recommend it on PC if you're really stickler about the controls. Like I play a lot of PC games and it would it just drove me crazy. I couldn't handle it. But on console, it feels great. So leave that as you will. You can see if they fix it or they address the issue or they mention it. But it's, it's super, super noticeable on PC. When you build up enough resource, you do have like an ultimate ability. The Imperial Soldier has like a hammer and then the elf shoots out like this sword arcane orb thing. So I really want to know what you guys think in the comments below. My stream was not really impressed. I was actually more impressed. I tend to be more of a positive person though, like a glass half full. I can see the value of the game. It reminds me of like Champions of Norrath or like um, those games you can just pick up and play with your buddies or even solo. And you know, you get off work, you get out of school, man, you just wanna, just wanna kill some demons, man. You just wanna kick some butt. This is that perfect kind of game for you. If I was playing on console, I would definitely pick it up, especially if you have friends to play with. It is kind of, a lot of the spells and abilities intertwined. They're meant to kind of work together with your teammates. If I was playing on PC, I think I would maybe pick up something like Grim Dawn or something like that, unless again, you just want to smash and bash play style. But if you want a more in-depth type of experience, something like a PoE Grim Dawn Diablo 3 would probably suit you a little bit better on PC. But again, it's beta. I might check out the game again on release if you guys want me to. We can play the other classes and all that stuff. I'll probably link below my playthrough, but that's going to be all for me today. This is the Bo -bo 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 Bloodshed. Make sure to follow me up above on twitch.tv slash bloodshed let me know what you think shout out to all the patrons out there you know i appreciate you thank you so much this is the bloodshed and i'm out of here peace